Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Recently there was a magnitude 6.1 earthquake there in or by Timor, Indonesia. There's going to be loss of life and a lot of damage. USGS gave it an intensity level of 8, which means panel walls thrown out of frame, fall of walls, monuments, chimneys, would have been sand blowholes or, or mud. Drivers of automobiles would have had to have stopped. Here we have the earthquake signature as it came into Australia. Yeah, can you believe it recorded all the way to Antarctica? Well, it was 22 miles deep. And here I'm showing you the felt reports that were sent in to USGS. Okay, intensity level 8, intensity level 7, and then intensity level 3. Well, good thing there's no tsunami warning. Here is the uh, signature as it came in at Hawaii. Shortly afterwards, there was another earthquake. This one was a 5.1 in Guatemala. Um, that was 37 miles, almost 38 miles in depth. And then prior to this earthquake, there was a 5.1 uh, to the north. You can see here we got uh, the Flores Sea, Indonesia, etc. Now there is only one report that's been sent into EMSC, and that was about 131 miles north, or 221 kilometers. Uh, they said that they were in bed at the time, and the shaking, it shook a little bit, the bed. Alor, Indonesia. I'm not sure where that's at. So just for out of curiosity, let's go there using Google Earth. Okay. Over here. And let me bring it out, and we'll come back. Alor Island. And then the earthquake was down over here yeah yeah I was just wondering now this evidently was a thrust earthquake I'll show you the uh, moment tensor ball this here is an image from geoscope so we got here on the top showing the plate movement rising up and then the bottom part was moving towards the uh, southeast and then the other section of the fault actually dropped down yeah we got a bit of spreading here too now according to this news article indonesian geological agency said the earthquake was a magnitude 6.3 hotel guests at ashton hotel in kupang panicked when the quake hit um, around 100 guests left their rooms and gathered in front of the hotel uh, another post from um, another geologist who I really respect, um, Jay Patton, says that there was probably liquefaction where the ground turned to quicksand. Can you see this area here? Now, I did find this video um, during the earthquake. You can see people, yeah, you know, they just kept on praying. You can see they were bobbing around, but they kept praying. Yeah, I guess they were, yeah really deep in prayer wow that's amazing you know many people do have time to prepare even if you just um bolt something to the wall your bookcases do you put straps around your hot water heater have a wrench to turn off gas and water lines if there's a large earthquake there's no excuse not to do something other than just plain laziness um, sending prayers to everybody there. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.